deal or no deal. Welcome indeed to Deal or No Deal. We'd be delighted if you became involved in the show. You could call us, join us online if you would like to win maybe £2,000, £3,000 or £10,000. They're the sums of money in our boxes. Now, on Sunday, you really do want to be with us. It's Mother's Day, Mothering Sunday. And we're going to do one of those rare things we do to celebrate every now and again. We're going to have a match play. So it's going to be a great show. But let's sum up this week. What are we thinking about? Well, on Monday, we had Patrick, and it was regret. He could have had a quarter of a million pounds. Debbie had regret. She could have gone further and got a lot more. Then on Wednesday, we had Dither with Lisa, <laughs> one of our most imprecise, indecisive people ever. And then how would you sum up yesterday's game with Doug? Sex. <laughs> you don't automatically think of that subject with deal or no deal. But, I mean, he, dirty old man. And the banker loved him to pieces. The great thing about it was 76-year-old Doug really went for it. And he could have actually had £100,000. But he got £75,000 and was totally delighted. And he did it with determination. So, guys, take a little bit from Doug and be determined to really dominate the banker. We have, of course, mm -hmm. I don't know why I do that, 22 identical sealed boxes, 11 in the West Wing, 11 in the East Wing, 22 very different sums of money. The key to Doug's game was that he held on to the 50,000 and the 100,000 all the way to the end, leaving the banker with no options. I love that situation. Let's choose a player to really spank the banker. So, is it going to be a fruity Friday for Sharon? <laughs> Sharon, come on. The crazy chair is now all yours. Welcome to your game. Thank you. You can right. sit down? Yeah, you can. I haven't got my slimming pants on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't bring my slimming pants today. No. But never mind, I'm going to suck my stomach in. So you are Sharon Sykes? That's me. From London? Which part? South East London, Grove Park, bordering Bromley, Kent, which is what I always say. Oh, lovely. Because it sounds posh. <laughs> Have you got a man in your life? Yeah, but he looks like Keith Miller of EastEnders, so... <laughs> so you're looking for something better? Yeah. Are you free? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how well you do. <laughs> Can I have a kiss for luck? Oh, yeah. speak to the banker? Well, we'll have to ask his consent. OK. And is he looking for another Mrs Banker? He is looking for wife number seven. That's OK. <laughs> lucky seven. Lucky seven. It could be Sharon. It could be me. Oh, it could be. He could be the lucky one. You ready to go? Yeah, go on, sod it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I need you to confirm that you chose box 21 <laughs> at random before the game began. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Sharon, I want you to have a fantastic game. Let's build on the success of Doug yesterday. 
let's make you our second quarter millionaire. Sharon, yes, good luck. Thank you. I'm totally Billy No Mates today. I've got no friends or family here. So um, I'd just love you to give me as much support as you can and help me find that quarter of a million. So just make as much noise as you want because you can tell I'm very, very quiet. OK? <laughs> Thank you. Right. Shall I pick my first number? Yeah. Nathan, you're staring at me. And you're so gorgeous. If I was five years younger. <laughs> so. Good luck, Sharon. Thank you. Yeah! Uh, David, box number 16, please. Best of luck, Sharon. Thank you. Oh dear, he's disappointed that um, in terms of the romance and, and whatever, I got there first. Uh, the offer to you is £6,900. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's pathetic, I'm ready for the question. Oh, what? <laughs> you want to be careful. Uh, actually, seriously, Sharon, you want to be really, really careful. If you set off on this game with him thinking that you're not showing respect to the offers, then everything goes to worms. It really does. Oh. Uh oh. oh. She didn't mean it. She I was, didn't she, mean she was it. Just being, it's nerves. Uh, yes, nerves. I've done it now, you silly girl. If you want to see pathetic, wait till the next offer. <laughs> Okay, we are at, because you asked for it, £6,900. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Sharon. Test number 12, please. Good luck, Sharon. I hope it's blue. You're just so lovely. Um, and I like to think that you're going to give me a blue. Thank you, Betty. Right. We can't look again. Well, I hope it's blue. the great thing about this game is Good you'll luck. tell the result from the uh, yeah. crowd. 3,000. <laughs> That's fine. Are we having a break? Do you want a break? Yeah. I'm drained. Totally trained. Absolutely. We'll see you right after the break to see how Sharon's game rolls out. Hi. Welcome back to Sharon's game. All through the break, we have been reminding her that we've seen games where people have taken the quarter of a million in the first round and they've still gone on to win huge, huge money. So, we will not be despondent, we will be very positive in our thought process. You require one more right. So, Tan Weir, box number eight, please. Hope it's blue for you. Thank you.
<laughs> right, I will do that, Mr. Banker. Goodbye. I've got to do something. You've got to do something? This is what I've been told to say. That the banker is much sexier than Noel. <laughs> In my opinion, much more so. And I care. <laughs> Am I bothered? <laughs> Well done, you put the train back on the rails. His ego is back intact. Fantastic. And he would now, because of this, like to offer you for that £14,500. Good offer. What are you thinking? It's a really nice offer, but there's still a lot to play for there. Um, and as I said, I came for life-changing money. And although £14,000 is a lot of money, it's not enough to change my life. So I'm ready for the question. £14,500? Deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr. Banker, but no deal. Thank you. Um, I don't know why I'm going to Rich. Ah, oh, the marvellous mystic Rich. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if this is a big number, boy, I'm going to give you a slap. <laughs> Look forward to it. Oh. <laughs> Good luck, Sharon. Thank you. <laughs> um, Jean, your box is really shining out to me. Oh, Jean, number two. Oh, Sharon, just hope it's a blue for you, sweetheart. Thank you. screaming too much you hit another blue and this is a configuration that I've never ever seen and I'll scream for you oh right I'm gonna make you scream now <laughs> <laughs> D um, yeah I'm gonna go for D number 11 my companion over there on the swing okay D we are on the edge of something quite extraordinary here if this is blue, you are in an, <laughs> a unique position. She can't watch. OK, D. Sharon, you go. I'm praying this is blue for you. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that, that is amazing. It's bloody marvellous. <laughs> <it? laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> it could have been worse. <laughs> <Your dear. laughs> uh, wow! What a fantastic round at a crucial moment. Oh, well, he didn't like you at the beginning because he thought you weren't showing any respect. And I'll tell you something. He's not going to like you now. No, I know. But who kicked now then? Oh, she's doing it again. I've got foot in mouth disease. Hello. She could. She could. 
saying the last thing you need to do at the moment is put him in the frame of mind that forces, that he can force you to just carry on. Oh. He's really scary, actually. Yeah, he is. He's scaring me. Oh, you've done a, you've done a silly thing. Oh, God, it's the of my life. Mm, do you know what he's deliberating? The swap for 26. Oh, crumbs. How did you create that situation? You know the 26,000 has got so many people out of the chair in the last month or so. But you've really irritated him. Do you know what his decision was in the end? No. 30,000. <laughs> There is an expression about how if you take out the big money, you're then left in the game to chase the money. Yeah. You've created such a powerful position that even if that happened, the money you're chasing is actually really good, solid money. There's plenty of consolation there. Yeah. There's plenty of reward. And there is life-changing money. Oh, Lord, I'm going to regret this, but I'm ready for the quiz. Sharon, £30,000. Deal or no deal? I can't believe I'm saying that, but no deal. Was that wise? Was it foolish? Was it brave? Or was it just logical? First box. I'm going to have Stephen, box three, please. Seven. I hope this is a pen. Oh, oh, oh. Find the pen, you find the pen. Find the pen. The 1P. Oh, yeah, I've got to find the 1P. You go into the Hall of Fame. It is an unprecedented situation. I keep looking at you, Nigel. I'm not going to change my mind. I'm going to have. <laughs> Woo! Nigel. Pressure. All on you, Nigel. No, no pressure this time. Blue for you. Come on. What is it? 75,000 he's got. I keep looking at box 22. It just keeps staring at me now. Box 22 is staring at you? Mm. Mm. I wonder if you're going to choose box 22 after the break. This is a scenario that we haven't seen for a very, very long time. She can find the 1P, she's in the Hall of Fame. The difference between the 1P and the 100,000 is massive in terms of the amount of money that Sharon could potentially win when you come back after the break. had a sensational game so far. Just savour it one more time. If she could find the 1P, this would be a unique game. You've created an incredibly powerful configuration there. Kelsey's box just, just glared at me then. Really? 
Just, so gonna... I'm just going to help her. I've got a little Prezi oh. for her because she, <laughs> she's got. You've, you've got a really bad memory, haven't you? And you've forgotten your glasses. Oh, well, go on then. I've, go brought, on. I've got you some glasses. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> Oh, can I turn around first, please? Yeah, I think you've you don't want to look. Sit down and look. Okay. Can you oh. produce the one piece? She says I the hope box so. is coming out at her. Box 13. <laughs> no, it's 5,000. Fine, 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 5,000. That's okay. It's okay. Woo! <laughs> are they all... I've got to leave them on, yeah. Yeah, are they the right prescription? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're a little bit big. The nose is. <laughs> You haven't done any real damage. Nope. Still, that hundred thousand is still there. Unless he puts a lot of significance on the seventy-five. Hello. Uh, I thought that would be significant for you. The offer is twenty-four and a half thousand. So, have we peaked at 30,000, which you declined, and it's 24,500, a wise exit fee? Can I ask a couple of my friends? You can ask uh, whoever you want. I'm going to go to you, Nigel, first of all, your daddy. There's one end of your play now, it's, it's bringing you into the game now. It's a good offer. Um, if, you, if we'd have kept the 75, it would have gone up, and now he's, 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 that, he's playing the banker on you now. He's wanting you to play, he's wanting you to play the game on now. What do you reckon, Stephen? See, this is unlike me, so I'm the opposite. Where I'd normally say, carry on, you've got three out of the power five. If it was me, I would deal, get out now. Yes, it would be bad luck to take out 100,000 and 50,000, but you're still in good money territory. I'm ready for the question. <laughs> All right. Sharon, 24 and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Come on, positive. Come on. Christine, box 10. Thank you. Christine. Good luck. It's going Thank to you. be a little blue. Go on, then. <laughs> OK, now, we just mustn't touch anything else there. OK? It's one of those ghastly deal or no deal, shocks, stabs. It's just... Horrible the way it tends to happen, the first box of the round. But now, two low ones. Box 22, Jeff. Good luck, Sharon. Thank you. Yes! Right, now find the one piece. Never has it been more crucial to find the one P box. All is not lost, but we need to find the one P. Sarah. Sarah, 1p oh, in one, one please. please. Good luck. <laughs> 15,000. All right, well. <laughs> Don't give him the impression that you're frightened and worried. This is fine. 50 grand, 35 grand. Lovely. Hello. He's very pleased to see the one piece still there. Claims it makes it easier for him, but he's still using the word stable. He agrees it is a stable it's board. It's a good board. Oh, he did a naughty chap. 
£20,000. £20,000. <laughs> Savour the first thought that went through your head when I said £20,000. Your reactive thought could be the most important one. Yeah. So, do you need advice? No, I don't. Um, I'm going to follow my own instincts on this one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I'm ready for the question. £20,000. Deal or no deal? No, that was good. It was good. You showed that you were brave with the... It was worth a try. It was worth a you try. Know, there was a lot of money there, and it was it's worth trying for. Yeah. What I want you to do, Sharon, is turn this in to the perfect deal, the right deal at the right time. Well, as you know, I didn't have any system whatsoever. Um, it was just whatever box shone at me. Um, in at me. It's a big one, so let's hope it is OK. Let's yeah, £20,000 is the deal. Now we want the big ones. That's it. That's one of them. Now find the fifth one. This week, the big money's been coming to the table. Did you bring £50,000 to the table in box 21? Hopefully, you didn't. So hard to choose. Um, Philomena. Philomena, away you go. We want to see the big one. No. You've got one more stab at it. <laughs> one more stab at it. If you can find the 50,000, we have the chance of a draw. It would have to be Joe. OK, Joe, we want to see the 50,000. I think this is 50,000, Sharon. I think you're a very brave, courageous, bubbly lady. Thank you, Joe. Yes! <laughs> Boy, did I do the right thing at the right time? Do you know, I love every single game, but some weeks, I love a week of games more than ever, and this has been one of my favourite weeks of games. We have had such massive contrast, and now we have the possibility that we've actually got a draw between you and the banker. You've accepted 20,000, there could be 20,000. Or you're going to win. I Hello. need to win. <laughs> if we had still been in play, he would have made what he describes as a pathetic offer. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a familiar ring to it. 6,900. <laughs> All the way back to the start. <laughs> we would have completed the cycle. OK. Now, this is fantastic, because he must be sitting on the edge of his seat, hoping there's 20,000 pounds in <laughs> yeah. here, cos then he gets away with the draw. Yeah. You, on the other hand, may well have sold a 1p box for so. 20,000 pounds. I hope so, cos it's horrible and scary. Is it victory to Sharon, or is it a draw? Come on, you agree. That, that was a really good result, and it was so unlikely because I thought we were in a cycle of all the big money coming to the yeah. table. Actually, you avoided the 1p club. I know! You'd only brought 1p so to the exciting. table. I love it, all the talk. Oh, I know, I've got a quarter of a million here. Yeah, completely the other end of the board. Uh, Charlie, will you please open box seven and show us £20,000? There it is! <laughs> I've got 
Yeah, you played, yeah, you played it perfectly. Yeah. Very, very good game. Thank Congratulations. Thank you. You, uh, you beat the banker. I beat that horrible banker! <laughs> well, you don't have to worry now. <laughs> no! And I don't want to be this. Mrs. You don't want to be the seventh of Mrs. Yeah. Banker. You can be as rude to him as you want. Yeah, it doesn't can, make any I? impact. He's no, hardly he like to, to ring up and does complain. Does he have to sign the cheque? Oh, he does sign the cheque. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit longer. Sharon, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Twenty thousand pounds. Two thousand, three thousand, and ten thousand pounds in our boxes. I'll remind you about something for Sunday in just a second. You are Kerry. Kerry, will you please select a box? Number two. Number two. She's going down the middle. And would you please open box number two? How much is it? It is the ten thousand. Well done, Kerry. Will you open the other two, please? The two thousand there. Three thousand there. Hey, well done to you. £10,000. Really enjoy that money, courtesy of Deal or No Deal. Enjoy your £20,000. We're going to miss that lovely, sparkly lady. And now, let me tell you about Mothering Sunday and just remind you. What we're going to do is a match play. In other words, when the player sits in the crazy chair, some of the money that they win will also be won by somebody who's joined us, either online or telephone us. It really is a good idea to make Mothering Sunday special. Think about it. Join us online, make a phone call on behalf of your mum, and you might win enough money for mum that equates to what the player wins in the chair. <laughs> Let's build on the success of Doug yesterday. Let's make you our second quarter millionaire. Sharon, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I'm totally Billy No Mates today. I've got no friends or family here. So um, I'd just love you to give me as much support as you can and help me find that quarter of a million. So, just make as much noise as you want, because you can tell I'm very, very quiet. OK? <laughs> Thank you. Right. Shall I pick my first number? Yeah. Nathan, you're staring at me. And you're so gorgeous. If I was five years younger. <laughs> <laughs> so... Good luck, Sharon. Thank you. David, box number 16, please. That's the match, Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. He's disappointed that, um, in terms of the romance and, and whatever, I got there first. <laughs> uh, the offer to you is £6,900. Careful. Actually, seriously, Sharon, you want to be really, really careful. If you set off on this game with him thinking that you're not showing respect to the offers, then everything goes to worms. It really does. Oh. Uh oh. oh. She didn't mean it. She I was, didn't mean she was it. Being... It's nerves. Yes, yeah, nerves. I've done it now, you silly girl. If you want to see pathetic, wait till the next offer. Oh. Sorry. OK, we are at, because you asked for it, £6,900. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Sharon. Test number 12, please. Good luck, Sharon. I hope it's blue. Thank you.
Betty, you're just so lovely. Um, and really spank the banker. So, is it going to be a fruity Friday for Sharon? <laughs> Sharon, come on. The crazy chair is now all yours. To your game. Thank you. You can all sit right? down. Yeah, you can. I haven't got my slimming pants on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring my slimming pants today. No. But never mind, I'm going to suck my stomach in. So you are Sharon Sykes? That's me. From London? Which part? South East London, Grove Park, bordering Bromley, Kent, which is what I always say. Oh, lovely. It sounds posh. <laughs> Have you got a man in your life? Yeah, but he looks like Keith Miller of EastEnders, so... <laughs> so you're looking for something better? Yeah. Are you free? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how well you do. <laughs> Can I have a kiss for luck? Oh, yeah. speak to the banker well we'll have to ask his consent okay and is he looking for another mrs banker he is looking for wife number seven That's okay. <laughs> lucky seven lucky seven it could be sharon it could be me oh it could be he could be the lucky one you ready to go yeah go on sod it oh. yeah. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> i need you to confirm that you chose box 21 <laughs> at random before the game began it is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Sharon, I want you to have a fantastic game. Let's Thank build you. on the success of Doug yesterday. Let's make you our second quarter millionaire. Sharon, yes, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I'm totally Billy No Mates today. Got no friends or family here. So um, I'd just love you to give me as much support as you can and help me find that quarter of a million. So just. It was good. It was good. You showed that you were brave with the... It was worth a try. It was worth a you try. Know, there was a lot of money there and it was it's worth trying for. Yeah. What I want you to do, Sharon, is turn this in to the perfect deal, the right deal at the right time. Well, as you know, I didn't have any system whatsoever. Um, it was just whatever box shone at me. Um, in at me. The big one, so let's open it, okay? Let's yeah, twenty thousand pounds is the deal. Now we want the big ones. That's it. That's one of them. Now find the fifty. This week the big money's been coming to the table. Did you bring fifty thousand pounds to the table in box twenty-one? Hopefully you didn't. So hard to choose. Um, Philomena. Philomena, away you go. We want to see the big one. No. You've got one more stab at it. <laughs> one more stab at it. If you can find the 50,000, we have the chance of a draw. It would have to be Joe. OK, Joe, we want to see the 50,000. I think this is 50,000, Sharon. I think you're a very brave, courageous, bubbly lady. Thank you, Joe. Oh, my God. 
right at the right thing at the right time. Do you know, I love every single game, but some weeks, I love a week of games more than ever, and this has been one of my favourite weeks of games. We have had such massive contrast, and now we have the possibility that we've actually got a draw between you and the banker. You've accepted 20,000, there could be 20,000. Or you're going to win. I Hello? need to win. <laughs> if we had still been in play, he would have made what he describes as a pathetic offer. <laughs> it's got a familiar ring to it. 6,900. <laughs> All the way back to the start. <laughs> we would have completed the cycle. OK. Now, this is fantastic, because he must be sitting on the edge of his seat, hoping there's 20,000 pounds <laughs> yeah. in here, cos then he gets a way to just carry on. Oh. He's really scary, actually. Yeah, he is. He's scaring me. Oh, you've done a, you've done a silly thing. Oh, God, the story of my life. Ooh, do you know what he's deliberating? The swap for 26. Oh, crumbs. How did you create that situation? You know the 26,000 has got so many people out of the chair in the last month or so. But you've really irritated him. Do you know what his decision was in the end? No. 30,000. <laughs> there is an expression about how if you take out the big money, you're then left in the game to chase the money. Yeah. You've created such a powerful position that even if that happened, the money you're chasing is actually really good, solid money. There's plenty of consolation there. Yeah. There's plenty of reward, and there is life-changing money. Oh, Lordy, I'm going to regret this, but I'm ready for the quiz. Sharon, £30,000. Deal or no deal? I can't believe I'm saying that, but no deal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, was that wise? Was it foolish? Was it brave? Or was it just logical? I'm going to have Stephen, box three, please. Sharon, I hope this is a pen. Oh, 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 found the pen, you found the pen. Found the pen. One P. Oh, yeah, I've got to find the one P. You go into the Hall of Fame. It is an unprecedented situation. I keep looking at you, Nigel. I'm not going to change my mind. Mm. I wonder if you're going to choose box 22 after the break. This is a scenario that we haven't seen for a very, very long time. She can find the 1P, she's in the Hall of Fame. The difference between the 1P and the 100,000 is massive in terms of the amount of money that Sharon could potentially win when you come back after the break. had a sensational game so far. Just savour it one more time. If she could find the 1P, this would be a unique game. You've created an incredibly 
powerful configuration there. Kelsey's box just just glared at me then. Really? Yeah. Just, so I'm gonna... just gonna help her. I've got a little prezzy oh. for her because she's <laughs> she's got you've you've got a really bad memory, haven't you? And you've forgotten your glasses again. Oh, well, go on then. I've, go got, on. I've got you some glasses. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Thank you, you're so kind. <laughs> oh, can I turn around first, please? Yeah, I think you better. You don't want to look? OK. Can you produce the one P? She says I the box so. is coming out at her. Box 13. <laughs> no, it's five thousand. Are they all... I've got to leave them on, yeah. Yeah, are they the right prescription? Yeah, they're a, yeah, they're a little bit big. The nose is. <laughs> you haven't done any real damage. Nope. Still, that 100,000 is still there. Unless he puts a lot of significance on the 75. Hello. Uh, I thought that would be significant for you. The offer is twenty-four and a half thousand. So have we peaked at thirty thousand, which you declined? And it's twenty-four and a half thousand a wise exit fee. Can I ask a couple of my friends? You can ask uh... whoever you want. So guys, take a little bit from Doug and be determined to really dominate the banker. We have, of course... Mm -hmm. I don't know why I do that. 22 identical sealed boxes, 11 in the West Wing, 11 in the East Wing. 22 very different sums of money. The key to Doug's game was that he held on to the 50,000 and the 100,000 all the way to the end, leaving the banker with no options. I love that situation. Let's choose a player to really spank the banker. Is it going to be a fruity Friday for Sharon? <laughs> Sharon, come on. The crazy chair is now all yours. To your game. Thank you. You can right. sit down. Yeah, you can. I haven't got my slimming pants on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring my slimming pants today. No. So never mind, I'm going to suck my stomach in. So you are Sharon Sykes? That's me. From London? Which part? South East London, Grove Park, bordering Bromley, Kent, which is what I always say. Oh, lovely. It sounds posh. <laughs> Have you got a man in your life? Yeah, but he looks like Keith Miller of EastEnders, so... <laughs> so you're looking for something better? Yeah. Are you free? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how well you do. Oh. <laughs> Could I have a kiss for luck? Oh, yeah. speak to the banker? Well, we'll have to ask his consent. OK. And is he looking for another Mrs Banker? He is looking for wife number seven. That's OK. <laughs> lucky seven. Lucky seven. It could be Sharon. Could be me. Oh, it could be. He could be the lucky one. You ready to go? Yeah, go on. Sod it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I need you to confirm that you chose box 21 <laughs> at random before the game began. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Sharon? 
I want you to have a fantastic game. Uh oh, oh. She didn't mean it. She I was, didn't mean she was it. Just being, it's nerves. Uh, yes, yeah, nerves. Done it now, you silly girl. If you want to see pathetic, wait till the next offer. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Banker. Okay, we are at, because you asked for it, six thousand nine hundred pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Sharon. Good luck, Sharon. I hope it's blue. Thank you, sir. Betty, you're just so lovely. Um, and I like to think that you're going to give me a blue. Thank you, Betty. Right. We can't look again. Well, I hope it's blue. the great thing about this game is Good you'll luck. tell the result from the uh, yeah. crowd. 3,000. That's fine. Are we having a break? Do you want a break? Yeah. I'm drained. Totally drained. Absolutely. We'll see you right after the break to see how Sharon's game rolls out. Reminding her that we've seen games where people have taken the quarter of a million in the first round and they've still gone on to win huge, huge money. So, we will not be despondent, we will be very positive in our thought process. We require one more box. So, Tan Weir, box number eight, please. Hope it's blue for you. Thank you. Sorry. 